if your rating falls between five and nine, you will be rounded up. If your rating falls between one and four, you'll be rounded down. So here's some examples. A 22% VA rating is rounded down to 20%. As veterans, the VA only displays us the numbers after they've been rounded up or rounded down. So it's important to get into the combined ratings table and figure out what your true number is so you can find out if you've been rounded up or rounded down because that will inform you what you're going to need to get to the next uh, disability rating up. So 34% rounded down to 30, 43% rounded down to 40, 50%. That remains at 50% because it's right at 50%. 67, rounded up to 70, 81% rounded down to 80, 87% is rounded up to 90, 94% is rounded down to 90. 95% or above is rounded up to 100%. The combined ratings table works on this idea of what part of your body is able to work and what part of your body is disabled or unable to work. So if you have a 0% disability rating, that means that you are 100% able to work. And this little uh, human body uh, keynote picture here shows a full intact body ready to go to work. Uh-oh, this guy looks like he lost his foot. So he is 90% able to work. I know there, an argument could be made if somebody uh, went into keynote and chopped off your foot, uh, you'd be severely limited at every job. But uh, for, for purposes of the combined ratings table, this veteran is 90% able to work and 10% disabled. You have a 10% disability rating because you're still 90% able to work. You already have your first rating here. So any additional disabilities that you add on or calculate into the combined ratings table are only able to be taken out of the part of your body that is still able to work. Uh, I'm doing it this way because like literally the foot's missing. So the VA cannot take any more percentages out of it because it literally doesn't exist for the purposes of the combined ratings table. Let's jump up to 50%. You're 50% able and 50% disabled. So half of you can work, half of you cannot. So anything, 50% of you is literally removed from the combined ratings table. So any additional disabilities taken out are going to be taken out of the remaining 50% of your body that is still able. Going one step further, if you have a 90% disability rating, that means you're 90% disabled and 10% able. Any further additional disabilities that are going to be taken out, if you're at 90%, are only going to be taking out of the remaining 10% of you that's able. And I just kind of chopped this guy's head in half here. It, just to kind of prove a point, because there's no other places for the combined ratings table to take disabilities out of. This is a, a part that uh, veterans don't really understand, um, and I'm going to go into this deeper. But basically, if you're 90% disabled and you file a sleep apnea claim, and you know that it usually comes in at 50%, that 50% is going to be taken out of the remaining 10%. So if you take 50% away from 10, you're gonna have five. When I talk about each 10% equals one point in my videos, this is what I'm talking about. So if you have a 90% VA disability rating 
and you add on 30% to it for migraines, that's going to move you from 90% to 93%, which is rounded down to 90. You need to get to 95% if you want a 100% VA disability rating. 